Today we're going to be recoloring the brand new Sofego music video featuring Ken Carson. This music video was shot and edited by my boy Declan Kyle. If you guys want to go check him out, it'll be linked in the description below. And the color grade on it is nuts, but I really just wanted to play around with it and see what it would look like with my color grade. All right, so we got five clips open up here in Premiere Pro. We're going to go and we're going to right click and we're going to create an adjustment layer. Let's start off with this one here. Now, the easiest part, in my opinion, to do this is go to a wide shot where everything is in frame and looks good. We're going to bring this out. We're going to go over to Lumetri Color and you guys can use any LUTs of your own, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using my LUT pack. It has over 250 LUTs in it guys i highly recommend it i'll have it linked in the description below make sure you guys go to creative click on look go to browse and we're going to open up our tiny tapes ultimate LUT pack here guys we have one through 282 different LUTs with seven different film looks guys we're going to go through and let's pick a random one let's go for 199 and boom that already has a cool look as is that's on and off there and we're going to spice this up a little bit more in basic correction here guys let's turn up the highlights while turning down the shadows turn up the greens a little bit while turning up the orange greens a little bit more to make that vehicle pop there bring up the saturation and then bring up the whites while bringing down the shadows a little bit and then maybe we can kill the highlights a little bit cut a little bit od there and playing that through we'll do with it and without it really cool look there guys and then to spice it up a little bit more we're gonna go into the tiny tapes film look pack here we're gonna open this up and we're gonna drag and drop our grain on there we're gonna go with the 35 millimeter grain right here gonna cut that to the footage go to effect controls and set it to overlay now we have a nice film grain on there guys and if you want to spice it up a little bit more what we can do here is duplicate our video clip click on it go over to effects and we're going to apply our vintage glow this is on the tiny tapes website as well and boom as you guys can see there his shirt in the car just just popped it look absolutely insane for that there so this is it without our color grade and then this is it with our color grade here it looks absolutely insane we could maybe turn on the highlights a little bit but let's move into the next one so this one's really cool here as well once again i'm gonna go to lumetri color creative look browse open the love pack guys let's go with number 32 for this one super blue look i really like the way that looks there let's go into basic correction here we can turn up the whites and down the blacks a little bit maybe play with the contrast and then turn down the highlights boom that flash looks really cool there too you guys can add a little bit of green to it if you want but the blue look I'm kind of messing with that the blue and pink look a little bit of pink in there we can drag and drop that grain on there guys and then for this one here i'm going to be using dehancer so if you guys don't have dehancer i'll have a link in the description below as well it's a plugin to get those really cool film looks we're going to go into film and we're going to turn it off because it has built-in luts but we're going to be using our luts that we have here we're going to go in we're going to turn on the bloom and the halation what the halation is it's the little red peaking areas around everything so as you guys can see if i turn that up it's going to look absolutely insane it just adds those little peaks there and it also has film grain built into it but i like the way my film green looks instead to be honest with you guys so boom that one looks crazy there before after and let's move on to the next one this is a close-up of fago smoking up backwards we're gonna go over to lumetri color and we're gonna throw on a lot once again open up browse and let's go with number 68 here that's a really cool i think orange and teal look there so we'll expand on that going into basic correction we'll turn up the orange there and then play with the greens let's bring the greens about there and then turn up just go crazy with that i think that looks good there turn up the highlights to bring up his face kill the shadows and then bring up the highlights a little bit more play with that and then the contrast can be brought up a little bit and then for this one let's copy and paste that dehancer look on here copy paste let's turn up the halation on this going to local diffusion let's get that really going up there great and then for this one as well let's duplicate it and add on that tiny tapes vintage glow look drag and drop that bad boy on there and boom everything is popping that looks nuts really love the look of that this is with everything and then without absolutely insane move on to the next one this is a great wide crowd shot this one's gonna be really fun to color all right guys in our love pack here we're gonna pick a random let let's go with 174 here this is a really cool green let it doesn't really add a lot of saturation and contrast to it so let's go into basic correction here we'll turn the saturation up a lot and then i feel like it needs a lot of contrast and then the highlights and the shadows could be brought down and then maybe some more green i feel like that looks cool uh, i don't want to make their faces too orange but i think that's a cool unique look there guys we can drag and drop that grain on there and then let's see how it looks with the tiny tape vintage glow again because i'm really loving the way this looks on this footage boom that adds a lot and if you guys want don't be afraid to add it more than once it might be a little bit od but you guys can always go in and turn down the opacity i'm just gonna keep it like that it looks crazy and is glowing a shit ton i really like the look of that and then moving on to the next one here we got the wide shot in the studio with ken carson go to the adjustment layer lumetri color creative and then we're gonna hit browse all right guys so now going for another random look let's go with 93 that's a really cool look there guys let's expand on that going into basic correction let's crank the contrast lower the shadows and then the whites can be brought down quite a bit 
and maybe add some orange in there with some pink and turn the exposure a little bit. And let's add that dehancer, copy it, paste it. Those lines are looking a little bit crazy right now. So let's go in and turn the diffusion down, but make sure they're still there. I think 24 is cool. And if you guys want, we can duplicate it and add that vintage glow to it, but it might be a little bit OD, see with the background there. So we're gonna delete that there. I find if there's a lot of white area, it's not really worth it, but if there's small little white areas, it might be cool. So I'm really liking the way that looks there. And let's drag and drop that film grade on there. And then we can maybe duplicate that twice to give it that heavy film grain. And yeah, guys, this is what this one looks like with the color grade and then without. Really cool look there. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to go check out our LUT pack, it'll be linked in the description below. It is on sale right now, 50% off. That'll be alongside all my other products I use in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out our other color grading tutorial, which we did with the Yeet Pop music video. And I also recommend checking out these crazy meteor and explosions we did in the Sofago video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.